just had a great example, one of those just this past March at, at the Big Ten Tournament, which this year was held in our backyard at the United Center in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that aren't familiar with, with the Journey series, the final episode of the basketball show is basically a one-hour documentary about the Big Ten Tournament. Um, the Big Ten Tournament starts on a Wednesday, and our show airs on a Tuesday. Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a long week. Um, we have a lot of cameras there, which is great, but it's a, it's a dual-edged sword. It's a lot of footage for our editors to wade through. Um, and, they, and we have to make content decisions of what's making the show and not in the show in a moment's notice. Mm -hmm. You don't get to wait till Sunday and say, okay, here's what we're going to start editing. You have to edit as you go and you want to manage the workload on your editors so that they don't, they don't burn out. Um, although they probably would say that they do every year anyway, but, but we still love them. So, uh, so this year, uh, there are obviously a lot of great storylines heading in the tournament. Michigan trying to three-peat for the first time ever in Big Ten tournament history. Obviously, Michigan State and Purdue both had terrific runs in the, in the national tournament or, or big stories heading in. And, and so what we do is we'll, we'll film a couple pieces ahead of time to kind of have them to set up the games. And we, but I always feel you have to be there from first tip to just in case. You mm -hmm. never know. And this, was, this year was a great example of that. Wednesday night is the, I think it was the 11-14 or 12-13 game that involved Nebraska. They weren't going anywhere. Their coach was eventually did get fired, but was, sure. was hanging on for dear life at that time. And they win their first game. We didn't shoot much of the game, but I always want to be there for the end because you never know what's going to happen. It just so happened that night that Tim Miles, a Nebraska coach, runs off the court. And over a million of you saw it. He, he fell and great. stood up and went safe. And it was a great moment, and it went viral. Um, unfortunately, there was a, a, an unskilled producer who was in front of that shot that was on camera. Um, the, so I, my text messages were blowing up that night, uh, which is not, not what I needed. But I didn't think it needed to make the show yet, but then they, they won their next game. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden, he runs off the court, and he jumps again, and he sticks the landing and puts his arms up in the air. And we knew that. We captured both moments. And so at the beginning of the week, if you had said, what are the odds that you put in a second of Nebraska footage in your 52-minute show, I would have said slim to none. And then uh, here we are on Thursday. We haven't even gotten to the top four seeds playing the game yet. And I got to put, you know, four or five minutes in because he's dancing in the locker room. They're throwing water all over each other. Yeah. And it's a great moment. And it's just, it just goes to show you that, that, you know, in some of these pieces that we had spent money on and time and I'd sent my producers out ahead of time to do, we just had to, you know, put them on digital and, and move on. You know, right. they, they didn't make the final cut of the show. So it's a great example uh, for, I think, storytellers of just you got to embrace what's happening, you anticipate, you kind of hope and think where you, things go. I mean, we guessed the final. We thought it was going to be Michigan State and Michigan, and it was. But, you know, there are other things that happened that we needed to address. Yeah, and you